Welcome back. I just want to go real quick. I did the local tournament at my local card shop yesterday, which was Monday, and I only played two rounds because there was an odd number of us and I got a buy, which I never like, but it gave me an opportunity to look at the competitors and what I would be playing. So the first matchup I played was a Garboder deck in Expanded. Now, I was playing my Buzzwall, my good old Buzzwall, which I decided to change one element to my Buzzwall after this last little tournament. Um, I'll tell you that in a second. Now, Garboder, yeah, is the problem as long as you use items. With the mini Karina I play, all that kind of stuff, I was able to just not use items. Keep going, 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 get a little energy here, a little energy there. Grab um, the Pokemon I need and go from there. So Garboder didn't really play too well. The first match, um, he donked. He just didn't get anything at all. And I was able to knock it out and knock out his Trubbish on turn two. Just I got turn one, or I got turn zero, which is the setup one. And I was able to put a strong energy and then turn two, I got Karina, which got me Diancy, and I got another strong energy, and I just jet punched him. I just, it just knocked out Trubbish. Then Garboder came up the next time, and he was playing it smart. He was playing a bunch of Trubbish. He was playing, he was trying to put Garbodor up, but I would keep the items under five until I basically saw the end of the line. Now, I saw the end of the line, and then I decided to just start going item heavy. But even at the end, I looked at how many items I actually used. Because he field blowered a couple things. There was only five items in the discard. So he could have gotten the knockouts that he needed with the Garbodor, but he just he didn't get it. Um, I was also playing it smart. I was playing Baby Buzz a lot more than I would. Normally, just to make sure I get the, the damage in, I was playing Lele to make sure I just took out with um, with the energy drive. So I was playing it super smart, super quick, and I was playing Lycanroc more. Then came Lovely Trevenant with his buddy Lovely Trevenant break. Now, Trevenant, first round, I couldn't get Giratina down, and it annoyed the heck out of me. Because I do play Giratina in my buzz wall. Now, he was able to just frustrate the heck out of me. Beyond belief. So, I ended up, you know, going, you know what, I can't do anything. Let's go to game two. So, we went to game two. Game two, I was able to get Giratina down. And because of that, I was able to use items because he kept going up to Giratina. Or, sorry, not Giratina. To Trevenant Break. Which, that's the main attack for that deck, so that's why I put Giratina in there. So I was able to use items, go through that, knock everything out. Game 3 was super frustrating. I got it down to literally one prize. He was not able to keep setting up, and by the time he was able to start setting up, I was doing one-hit knockouts on, on the Trevenants, because that's all he could get up. He couldn't get the breaks up quick enough. And, and even if he did get the breaks up, I was able to... Knock it out with Buzzwall. So he couldn't get the Rescue Starves. He couldn't do anything he needed. And so it ended up being literally one prize left. I had everything I needed in hand to knock it out. And then he goose moves me. Into Regirock. And I had a VS Seeker in hand. I could easily grab Karina, grab Flowstone, grab Scramble Switch. But I had made an error earlier. And I was supposed to put the Floatstone on... The Reggie Rock, but I put it on Buzzwall for some weird reason. And then I scramble switch after retreating back into Zygarde, who had three energy on it, which gave me a knockout on the Trevenant um, break. But I, I put two energy down, and I'm like, oh, I can make it. Then we hit time. And then he, for his turn one, he knocks out, he gets three prizes. So then it comes down to, or no, he got four prizes. He got the uh, Diancy, the Giratina, and the Buzzwall. All in one hit. With Silent Fear. So I was like, are oh, you got to be kidding me. So then, I'm like, okay, he can't do it. He can't get the amount of damage needed, even with 3 Slam, to win. Then he brings up with 
Guzma the one thing he could knock out. Which was a lichen rock which had a bunch of damage on it. So in, in the end, I was crying because I had Via Seeker. I had a Via Seeker for Guzma, Karina, anything I needed to get that that Reggie Rock out, but I didn't play a second Floatstone. So the only thing I did different now, so because of that tournament, I actually decided. No, no, yeah, we're good. I don't want any of that. Because of that, I changed my deck slightly. So I got rid of the Oracorio, which everyone at the card shop was like, you're nuts. That's so important for the Night March or the Vespaquin. And I told them, I, I've had more luck with Karen than I have the Oracorio. So I took the Oracorio out and I put a second Floatstone. Floatstone. So now I have that second out. So we're going to go play another match real quick with this expanded deck because I want to show you this one has actually where are the stats uh, oh I reset the stats when I hit save so I actually since the restart overall wins 47 I've only lost nine times mostly to Trevenant so since the last time I edited this deck, I've won seven in a row. Seven in a row. So we're going to play this real quick, and it's going to be a fun little match. Hopefully this goes through pretty well. And we don't have to re-record this. But even if even if it loses, I think I'm just going to upload it. Because you know what? It does happen. Losses do happen. So we are going up against... Fire... Which one is this? Which deck is this? Um, Zork McCargo? I think it's Zork McCargo. I think it is. They gave up. They knew it's Buzzwall and they're like, I'm done. See, and this is, I've actually had a couple of those so far. Hey, we'll open that pack. I believe it's a pack. We'll open the two packs at the end. So even if I win or lose, we're opening two packs. So let's see, let's see, can we get a good one? Can we get a good one? What is this, Buzzwool? Oh, it might be Zork, which might be an auto loss to them again. Let's see. I lost a coin flip, but that's not a big deal. If they go first and they put Zorks down, I am happier than happy. Hello. Hello. Give you a little heart there. How you doing? I'll put Buzzwall up front. I'll grab Karina and I'll do all that fun stuff. Yes! It's a Zork match! It should be real quick and easy, especially if I have wide lens. Let's do this. Don't give up. At least give me a fight. Zork. One of the big staples right now. Oh, you're evil. Oh, I had Lele. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, you're killing me, dude. Get this. Hex. Who needs those cards? Not me! So he is playing a boosted up Zygarde, or uh, Zygarde. Zorark match. So Buzzwall still can do it. I don't need the Giratina, so if I do get an Ultra Ball, I will gladly get rid of it. If I get one of my four Karens, I will gladly get rid of it. What are you gonna do? Get eggs? Getting Mew. No Mew. Mew you. We're going to lock you in. Energy. All I can do is hope to hit. Do I want to put the... No, that's an easy kill for Jirachi. We're going to go hit you with that one. And watch me get a carry. Oh, there's the Lele. So I can easily get Baby Buzz down. 
and knock it out. Via Seeker for... I think it's N. Yeah, they're gonna end me again. Oh! Let's see, can you get the... Zork? Come on, dude. You're killing me. So he does play the Mew. Okay, I can get... Gotta get rid of... Yeah, I'll do it that way. Ooh, foul play! Foul play, Zork. What are you gonna hit me with? What was that? I'm not sure. But we're gonna go get Lele and do it one way or another. So, I think I'm gonna get rid of you and you. Because I'd rather not miss the Max Elixir here. And we will grab Buzz. The Buzz Wall. That's the issue with. Oh, I just messed that up. I messed that up horribly. Now I have to pray for a float stone. Why did I do it that way? I don't know what I was thinking. This is what happens online with me sometimes. I start going, oh, I can do it, and then I just, mm, just totally don't pay attention. <sighs> I did that completely wrong. I needed the late late for the float stone and the buzz wall, and then I could have done it. So as you can see, misplays happen. I'll do another quick one. I just, I can't believe I misplayed that. That was an easy win for me too. That, uh, that's why I like playing the actual physical card game sometimes more than I do the online game because I over, I like, oh yeah, do this. It wait, that's not what I want because I forget or I speed up and I'm like, yeah, I got this knockout and it's like, no, I don't. So we will go ahead and try this again. Let's try and find something on the ladder. I, hmm. So, just like uh, I did in real life with putting the floats on the wrong thing, I just did the wrong thing by not grabbing the lightning. So, I think. Lightning, that's a weird. What is this? What is this? Okay, we got Baby Buzz, which is good. We got Rock Rough. We got. We actually, a lot of things that are pretty good. Rock rough. Start off with a Rangaroo. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and put Ram right down. One energy on Rock Ruff. Second energy on Rock Ruff. Nope. Okay. We at least got one energy down on Rock Ruff. And we'll end our turn. Since I can't attack anyways, why not? And of course, Enhance Hammer. That's how that always works. Second more. Okay, so he's not getting rid of my hand, which means I get Octillery down. Yeah. Uh, am I playing the... I'm playing the other Zorark, I believe, match. Which is the... Dual Brains, which allows you to do two, I repeat, two different setups. So, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Can you get rid of the Executor, or Executes? So, the Dual Brains. During your plant and turn, you can play two, I repeat, two supporters. Skyfield. Really? That's all you got going? Am I going to win off of a donk? I think I play Abyssal. I'm getting greedy. So I'm looking at the end here. Go there. Want the Diancie. Put the other baby down. And Sycamore. Told you I was getting greedy. Oh ho ho ho. Barely got the energy. Got the knockout right here. Sledgehammer for... Now, that was, I believe, a Zork, Dual Brain. So, I made, it, it made itself up. 
And let's see if I can get one good match down for you. One loss because of a player error. One win real quick. And let's see if I can get a good one. Let's come on, come on. Good, good. I think it's a mirror. So we'll see how the mirror goes. Now my deck is slightly different than most buzz walls because of the tech cards I have in here. So let's see how well this goes. I actually wanted to play the other buzz wall player and that didn't work out. So I was like, yeah, let's play the other buzz wall player. And he's like, and we're probably not going to play. And he was right. So I'm going to have to get rid of probably the float stone. Actually, we'll see what, what comes up. Because the beast ring isn't going to help me right now only because I can't use it. So it's baby buzz wall. We are going to get rid of Baby Buzz and the Beast Ring. We are going to grab Lady. And we're going to grab Sycamore because that's the most important one right now. Energy on Rockruff. Put Floatstone on you, Lele. We'll go Sycamore because I'd rather have the Sycamore. I'd rather have the extra card right away. Because maybe I can get the Ultra Ball for Octillery. There's the Ultra Ball for Artillery. I got a bunch of other stuff that I can use. So we are energy list, which hurts. But we'll live with it. So we're going to be done? Yeah, we'll be done. I got one energy down, which was on Rock Rough. Not the one I was hoping for, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I could be a jerk, bring up the artillery. And knock it out. We'll go Karina. Bring out the Reggie Rock. Well, hopefully, hit energy here. We did good. We'll bring this up. Maybe if I'm lucky, maybe if I'm lucky, come on, luckiness. Are you kidding me right now? Well, we will do something I was hoping not to have to do. Just float. Retreat. Then do I claw slash? Sorry, do I dangerous? This is gonna hurt right now. Dangerous road for knockout! Woo! I can't believe I'm missing all the energy in the world. I'm literally missing all the energy in the world right now. And I play enough energy to grab it, so I don't know what's going on here. Sledgehammer. Which is weird, because normally Buzzwall doesn't brick like this. And there's the energy. So, as you can tell, this deck does really well. It speeds through pretty quick. If you set it up quick enough, even expanded, playing against itself, you pray that something happens pretty well. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm probably going to bring recap, recaps every Tuesday of what the tournament is if I go. So next week I'm probably not going to go because it's my birthday weekend and the tournament's on Mondays. So I'm probably not going to do it. So I'm just probably going to have fun on Monday, goofing off, doing what I do. So have a good day.